Good afternoon. Welcome to Mungley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for December 8th to 22nd. And I don't know what season it is right now because it's still, uh, well, it was kind of cool here in the east. But um, we have um, a tropical system possibly developing in the tropical um, Atlantic. You can see a satellite picture of it right here. And the National Hurricane Center is watching it. They issued a special um, tropical storm, a uh, tropical weather outlook. And we'll take a look at the, uh, they give it a 30% chance of probability. And um, if we take a look at the five day graphical, um, this is where it's supposed to go. Now it has a slight chance to develop before it moves over cooler waters to the north. But uh, if we take a look at, um, uh, in the past is from, um, from 1842 through the current year. These are the possible, um, not possible, these are the storms that we had occur in December. You see, like, this one was in November, but um, primarily these are the ones in, um, in December that occurred. So, um, and this storm is in the area where it could develop. And, um, but it's no threat to land at this time. It's just a shipping hazard. It's causing disorganized uh, area showers and thunderstorms. Okay, we're gonna get a look at the forecast now. Um, okay, we're gonna look at the period now for December 8th to the 12th. And we still have um, our ridges here near the Northeast Pacific and over Greenland and Trophy in the West. Now there's a lot of things going on and some think it because of the modeling is getting it wrong. Um, because um, all the um, indices, if we could get a look at those. Get a look at those. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, indices here, teleconnection. And we we'll take a look, this is the um, ensembles for the Arctic isolation is negative, I think. Let me see. Um, and then we we'll take a look at the um, EPO negative North Pacific isolation is negative to near normal but this should trend to have a trough in the east and it's not happening and we don't know why <laughs> and um, so on um, the models again delaying the cold air into these that we're forecasting now we'll take a look at the um, the Arctic um, the polar vortex here and as you can see here, it's kind of stretched. And when it stretches like that, as I said in the past, it causes the weakness. These are the temperature and the wind at the stratospheric level. And we go through the period. You know, kind of meanders here, across the Arctic to the other side of the pole, but then some of it splits and goes to the other side of the pool, uh, the other side of the pole and to the um to the lower latitudes. See, and then it starts seeking south. So there is still some hope. See that now it, it stretches and then moves eastward. So now if they were saying like the 15th, it was supposed to happen. It might be later than that. There's some signs, but it keeps, um, the models keep pro, um, holding off on the cold air. So um, this is the 8th to, to the 12th. We have our, our, Anomalous highs here in across Greenland and the east, the northeast Pacific trough in the west, ridge in the east, more of a southwest flow. And um, so, temperature the forecast would be above normal from the eastern Rockies to the Atlantic coast. 
and below normal temperatures forecast for Northern California, most of the Northwest, the Great Basin, and the Rockies. And um, the one thing that sticks out is above normal precipitation forecast for the Mississippi Valley to the Northeast. And this will be from uh, several systems that will be moving through the area. Now, this will be one system lifting through the north. You can see here with snow on the northwest side. Then we go through and we get another system here moving to the east. So that's why there's going to be above normal precipitation and possible also for the northwest. Um, okay, we're going to look now at the period for... December 13th to the 17th. And you still see we have our positive height anomalies here, trough in the west. Now the flow is more westerly, more towards the zone of flow. It just still doesn't make sense. But uh, we have a trough here. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for. Um, below normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies being near 6 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here, with anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here and here. Probability of occurrence is near 40%. Then we have below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is near 40%. Um, looking ahead for um, December 18th to 22nd, now we really get into official start of winter. Um, some of the models, or some of the ensembles are showing a broad cyclonic flow with low normal heights in the west and the east. That could be right. But um, <clears throat> also, excuse me, if we look at the other models, they still keep a ridge here over... Um, Eastern Canada and the Northeast Ridge here, but you can still see there is a tendency to bring the trough eastward. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for. No, it's not going to work. Calling for below normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies near six degrees below normal. Not so sure about the rest of the country. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation, much of this region here, probability of occurrence is near 40%. So that's a long range weather forecast discussion for December 8th to 22nd. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.